If you currently have issues with system data taking up your iPhone storage space, don't worry because today I'm going to show you how to clear system data storage on your iPhone. Before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you never miss out on our content. First off, what is system data and why does it take so much space? Well, in iOS, stuff like cache, logs, and other resources currently in use by the system result in system data. So this category might be tricky to manage because it includes all sorts of random data sitting on your phone. Additionally, this usually takes up a lot of space because your iPhone tends to accumulate cache over time. The longer you've had them, the more system data it uses. And if you're curious, there are a few things that could be making your iPhone system data huge. First, system files. These are bits of iOS that aren't tied to any specific app, so things like new Siri voices or fonts. Second, temporary files. These are bits of data that iOS stores temporarily and gets rid of when it's done with them. Next, logs and website cache, which includes things like website logins, saved URLs, and preloaded websites that iOS keeps handy for faster browsing and cache of streamed media. iOS saves media that you're used to watching or listening to make playback smoother. Now, it's common to have around 5 to 20 gigabytes of system data. To check how much you have on your iPhone, go to Settings, tap on General, and then on iPhone Storage. Here you will see a list of everything that you currently have on your iPhone, and the light gray bar represents system data. If you scroll down, you will see the total size of your iPhone system data. Mine currently has 8 gigabytes, but let me know down below in the comments section how many gigabytes is occupied by system data on your device. So now that you know how much system data you have, let's get into how to clear it. One of the easiest ways to do this is by clearing browsing history and website data on a regular basis. This will prevent this information from taking up space on your phone, and it could also protect your personal data. Go to Settings, tap on Safari, scroll down, tap on Clear History and Website Data, and tap on Clear History. For Chrome, open Google Chrome on your iPhone, tap on the three dots on the bottom right corner, tap on Settings, scroll down, and tap on Privacy and Security. Here, you'll have the option to tap on Clear Browsing Data. Select which data you want to clear and tap on Clear Browsing Data. Now, unlike browsers, apps usually don't give you access to their cache and other data, such as login information. And while checking the iPhone storage, you could see that Documents and Data section taking up space on your iPhone as well. So here's how you can clear that app data to clean up more space. Before you start, make sure you remember your logins or have them saved because you might need them when logging back in. So go to Settings, General, iPhone Storage, choose an app at the top of the list as they are the ones taking up more space, tap Delete app, go to the App Store and reinstall it. And I know this is not ideal, but unfortunately, it is the only way to clear cache and other app data for the majority of apps. Next, you can also delete large message attachments from your iPhone. Open Settings, tap on General, iPhone Storage, and Messages. Here, review the categories under the Documents section, Photos, GIFs and Stickers, and Author, and then select the attachments you want to delete by swiping left or tapping on Edit to select multiple items at once, then tap on the trash icon. Now, if you want to take your iPhone to another level of organization, you can use the app Clean My Phone, which helps you clean up duplicates really quickly. I've included a link down below in the description for you to download it, or you can also scan this code with your phone to get the app. Once you open Clean My Phone, you'll see the Declutter option, which analyzes and sorts your media files, selecting those you may not want to keep any longer, including duplicates, blurred photos, and screenshots. And there's also the Organize module, which shows you stuff that you might want to organize and similar photos that might not be that relevant for you. After the scan is complete on both of these modules, you will have the option to tap on each of the categories of clutter to deselect the ones that you want to keep, or you can go ahead and clean it all. And something else that you can do is delete local backups that you might have stored on your iPhone. Open Settings, tap on your name, tap on iCloud, Manage Account Storage, tap on Backups, and choose the backups that you would like to delete. Then tap on Delete Backup and turn off and delete. Next, if you have an app on your iPhone that is big but doesn't use much data, you could choose to offload it instead of clearing its cache. Offloading removes the app from your device but keeps its data, so when you reinstall the app later on, it's like you've never deleted it. 
To do this, open Settings, App Store, scroll down and enable Offload Unused Apps. With the setting enabled, your iPhone will automatically offload apps that are not being used. Now, before I conclude, make sure to check out our video on how to clear system data on Mac as well. The link is included in the description below. And there you have it. These are a few ways for you to clear system data on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you stay in the loop for all things iPhone. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.